Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to this channel. In this video, let's talk about the 5 basic ways on how to secure your MS Access database. Now, let us start with the hiding and unhiding your data objects. By the way, the data objects, this is, uh, these are the tables, your forms, your queries, your reports. Like for example, this one. If you want to hide this from your user about, just right click and then hide in this group. Okay, it's being hide, and also this one. If you wanna hide this one, hide in this group. Okay, but what if you want to unhide it because you have to edit it? So all you have to do is you just click this file, then options, and then current database. Click on this, and then let's go to this one navigation option, and then show hidden objects click this okay okay so as you can see the grayed out objects this is the objects that being hide but still you can use this for example that one okay you can right click okay and if you want to return return it from original you can just right click and then unhide in this group so this one and not everyone knows about this and what if guys you want to hide all of this so let's proceed to the second option you have to click this file go to options and then current database let's go to this one navigation by the way guys this is the navigation pane that's why we have to focus our attention to the navigation so Navigation pin display and check so that it will no longer be displayed and then allow pull minus this one and check and then shortcut no also click this and let us close this restart let's go back to axis where is it on this one so as you can see guys the navigation pin is being hide and also you can no longer right click you cannot edit so your user cannot uh, can no longer edit this but uh, about this one you can just collapse the ribbon okay this is the result this is clean but what if one of your users knows how to access the database option so it's prone to hack so you have to you have to hide all of these guys but before that you need to have a control so I call it a developer form or a developer uh, control so that uh, you can still access this file this one you can still access this let me show you my sample guys what I mean guys is this one developer okay so I have a command option button if i'm going to open okay this one so that's why still i can access we need this one guys okay so let us start the coding guys don't worry guys this is just only a one line code this is a very simple bba code to to hide all this uh, menu So just right click design view and then this is the property form property and then let's go to this one it's the property sheet and then on load by the way guys you have to put your code on the first form the first form to open so that it will automatically um, disable or hide this uh, this minus at the top so let's go back to bb code so let's start with do cmd that shoe toolbar so the second line okay that one and then double code so the toolbar name is ribbon okay and then to proceed comma so i will select the app toolbar okay no so that's it 
this code only close it's automatically saved if we will open the form view okay guys automatically the menu at the top is being hide but we can access it through my developer login okay open this and then okay this one let's start again guys let's check what happened uncheck 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 okay yes okay let's open it again here we go guys as you can see at the top there's no menu and also there's no navigation pin and by the way uh, the users can no longer edit but <coughs> still guys the user can still access your tables your forms without having a login and that's through bypass key what is the bypass key that's the shift key while opening or pressing the shift key while opening so that's why we have to disable it that's the fourth way to secure your database so let me show you guys how to bypass before we proceed the coding close this so I open this because I, I don't know where, where it is being saved so I will press the shift key and then I will click this okay here we go guys so we can open it we can check it we can edit it so that's why we need to disallow the bypass so how to do that here in my developer login I will no longer um, show you how to type but I will show you how I made my code okay this is the enable bypass and disable bypass okay guys if you want to allow bypass so this is the code so current that db that properties allow bypass key is equal to true and this one the meet takes nine allow bypass so this is my this one so that i will know uh, this is just a visual uh, i don't know what what we call it <coughs> so it's obvious so and in the second one for this button so disable the bypass so this is just just like this one guys enable bypass okay disable the bypass so let us disable the bypass guys let us click this one disable bypass and even if we press the shift key we can no longer open this one so let us try So, I will press the shift key and then open. Okay. So, the database now is safe, but this is not 100% um, guys safe. So, and if you have not yet watched my video about compiling a database, I will put the link below. And guys, another tip, do not store your username and password in a local table you have to save it or you have to store it in the sql server so that no one can access it sql server is um, this is secure i think this is enough if you have some questions you know what to do guys just comment it down below and if you like this video please click like and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video